and we'll stand together for the bride. has the honor of presenting Diane to be married. I do. I do. Thank you. Step forward and give her your left arm, JJ. And bring her right up here. And you may be seated. Now, stand together, you're getting married. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Okay. There you go. Put your arm on around her there. There you go. Well, what a beautiful afternoon as we come together in the presence of God as you, JJ, and Diane establish a new and beautiful relationship together. You know, marriage is a very special moment of time. And I notice that you've come all the way from Nebraska to Las Vegas to be able to make a commitment of your life to the one that you love. I like to think of this moment of time as the very beginning of a new and beautiful journey together. Traveling down roads and highways, going places here and there that you've never been together before. And it's my prayer, and I trust the prayer of your family and friends, that as you journey together, it'll be full of joy and happiness and deep satisfaction. But be careful. There might be some bumps on the road every now and then, you know. One must never forget, in the very beginning of time, God created the world. And his very last and ultimate creation, it was man. And when God looked at man, J.J., he said, something is missing. And from his side, he made woman to be his companion, to be his helpmate. For God said it's not good for man to be alone. J.J., God knew what he was doing when he made for man a companion. And God knows what he's doing, bringing you two together to share your lives one with another. Not only did God give to man life and companionship, but he gave to them the ability to love and receive love. And it's in the giving and receiving of love that a relationship grows. Now stop and think for a minute. Think back to that first moment of time when you first felt like you were in love with that person beside of you. And from that moment till now, can you see how your relationship already has grown? Don't stop thinking yet. Just kind of begin to dream and imagine a little as to how much bigger and stronger and beautiful your relationship is going to become. Never forget. God expects your relationship to grow, to be strong, and to be beautiful. So the more love you give and receive, the more you're going to grow. But you know, to be a beautiful relationship, you've got to do more than give and receive love. You've got to do a little cultivating. You've got to pull a few weeds once in a while that grow between you. <laughs> and never forget, it takes two good forgivers. In 55 years' experience, I've learned it's okay to be wrong, even when you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is a sacred and intimate commitment between two people. Are you willing to make that kind of a commitment of your life to the one that you love? If so, say I am. I am. Then face each other, please. And Diane, let me hold. That's okay. Oops. Holding her hands. Yes. J.J., look at those hands that you're holding, J.J. Do you remember the first time you held uh, Diane's hand? Mm -hmm. Others do, too. She put it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> those hands that you're holding are loving, they're caring, and they're tender. And at this very moment, Diane has placed them in yours as a symbol of giving. She's giving to you her life, her love, and her devotion. Do you promise to Diane your love and devotion? I do. Then repeat, I take you, Diane. I take you, Diane. 
to be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise before God and witnesses. I promise before God and witnesses. To love you, honor you, and cherish you. To love you, honor you, and cherish you. And to be faithful to you. And to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Diane, look at those hands that you're holding. For JJ is giving to you one of life's richest and noblest treasures. He's giving you his life, love, and devotion. Do you promise to him your love and your devotion? I do. Then repeat, I take you, JJ. I take you, JJ. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and witnesses. I promise before God and witnesses. To love you, honor you, and respect you. To love you, honor, and respect you. And to be faithful to you. And to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now those vows that you've just shared and exchanged one to another, never forget those vows are sacred and intimate between you. Be faithful to them. If you're faithful to those vows, your lives will be full of joy and happiness and deep satisfaction. But never forget, vows don't eliminate disappointment or a few small problems. You could have some of those, you know, once in a while. But I call that small stuff when you compare it to the big stuff, which is your love, your devotion, and commitment one to another. So when that small stuff gets between you that causes problems, just take a deep breath. Turn your head aside and look down life's road and you'll see a rainbow. At the end of every rainbow, what do you find? Head for it. <laughs> Don't let the small stuff destroy the riches and treasures of life that are out there that'll make your lives more beautiful together. Now you're exchanging rings today. May I have the rings? The rings that I hold in my hand, these rings are only but symbols. But when you wear these rings and look on them, it's going to remind you of the commitment that you've just made one to another. When others look upon these rings, it's going to tell them that you belong to someone very special. Notice the rings. They have no end to them, for they're symbols of harmony, unity, and longevity. And it's my prayer that your relationship will be in harmony and unity as long as you both shall live. They're made of precious metal for their symbols of purity. Keep your relationship purer and finer. Notice, uh, JJ, how that outer ring surrounds that smaller ring. I identify that as the provider and the protector. Take good care of that lady. The inner ring is which I identify as the comforter and the supporter. That's a woman thing, Diane. Be a good comforter, <laughs> be a good supporter. Taking the ring, JJ, and placing on Diane. I place this ring on your finger. I place this ring on your finger. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and devotion. Of my love and devotion. I place this ring on your finger. I place this ring on your finger. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and devotion. Of my love and devotion. Now, look at those rings together by placing one hand on the other. As I look on those hands, I notice two things, and others can see with me. Notice, J.J., where Diane's hand is? She has already taken the upper hand. <laughs> <laughs> those rings, they're beautiful. Those rings are valuable. But my prayer is that as the rings lose value and beauty, that your relationship will grow and increase in value and in beauty in the years that are before you. Now let me pray. Heavenly Father, as you have joined together JJ and Diane, I pray that you will bless them, make them a blessing, and give them many beautiful and wonderful years together. Amen. Amen. Falling in love was simple, but staying in love is special. So stay in love and be good forgivers. And now it gives me great honor and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. J.J., J.
kiss your bride. <laughs> All right.